I'm Rebecca again, and I'm going to talk to y'all about that you can change old clay houses into two hoops. So, this one uh, we took and we put some chicken wire on it, and now we and we made it safe so predators can't get in, and this double layer wood makes it uh, better so it doesn't get as much rain inside. And we put a play pin on it. And um, well, first off, this used to be just an open porch, and we put these two support beams and then put wire over it. It's very heavy duty wire. It's a lot more expensive, but no predators can get through this. It can't rip like chicken wire can. Um, here are my little decorations that were knocked over by the wind, and that's. Popcorn, jasmine, and tulip, and griffin. Um, so in here we have two perches. In the back we have food and water. And these guys are actually too young to be laying yet, so we don't have a nest box in here yet. In the back you can see there's a little window. And we, if you go around to the back you can just open it and just take out the food and water without having to open this big door. And we have rocks all along the bottom so predators can't dig in. It doesn't need actually have a wire under it. And the reason that is, is because if you show chickens, you actually really don't want a wire base because it'll rip up their feathers. But like with my layers over there, they could have wire, even though they have the big fancy royal cement. So over here, once we had another video that was winter, wintering, like, we basically just put a tarp over and it leaves this door here for ventilation. And this is our layer coop. So back there we have the extra little rabbit cage. That's if anyone's like just not feeling well or we don't have enough room or we have new chicks that can go in there and we just need to get them used to being outside. Uh, that right there is pine cone. Just so you know, hi pine cone. Um, we actually have two water dishes. That way, if one of them runs out, we still have another water dish, and we don't have to come up here as freaking. And over there, we have a big five-pound food, um, so we can just put a lot of food in there. So these guys are very low maintenance. All we have to do is really go in and collect the eggs. Um, over there, we probably don't need to go over there. That's just a play pin for when it's nice out, and we just want to get somebody out to play. Mainly with these guys, that's their place. Because they're under the shelter and they're here and they just, they're going to be very warm. We've never had any frostbite problems with them or anything before. And they have the one pound food. This type of water allows you to still get them to get water, but you can also put like fresh greens in there and stuff for them to just peck on. Um, this is going to be where the nest box is, and they're going to roost in here. And you can see this little open slot for when they have babies. We can slide this tray in, and that way the babies won't fall off down into this area until they're ready. Um, for here is where we store our food. So this has grower finisher for, like, teenager chickens in it. This has layer, scratch, and I think starter for like baby baby chicks. Um think that's okay. Good. So this is still part of the coops. And so right here we are in a different area as you can tell. In this coop we have it's a store bought I think we bought it at Tractor Supply. And we've got this P V C pipe down in the bottom. It's got the little red. And what they do is they chickens are attracted to red. They peck on that and water comes out. And to refill it, you just pop this off and just stick a hose down in. Um, up here we got the nest box and where they roost. And it's got this. You could slip a tray under, but we don't let these guys go broody, so we just put wire over that and stapled it. This kind of food bin works on gravity. You pour food in the top all the way up to the top, and then as they pick at it, the food funnels down. That's Flame. Say hi, Flame. Um, this is Muffin. And my lovely assistant is holding Muffin. Um, over here, 
And that one's kind of an all-weather coupe. Um, so that one's just going to be good for all weather. This one is good for winter because it's nice and enclosed. And it has the next one here. Uh-huh. And then also that got the little clasp on it. This one's really handy because you can open it up. So it's really easy to clean. And in there you see you got the food bin, which they promptly dumped dirt in. And then this kind of water bin. And they're over there pouting. Um, and then in here we got the nest box. She's got the eggs, and then they got that round perch. Now, square perches are actually better, because it's just better for their muscles. But this was the only one available that, with the coop. So we'll probably change this out, because this is a relatively new coop. So we have not changed that yet. And then to close it, you just push it this way, and it locks itself in. modified it by putting a wire over the bottom and putting the panels in so it became a full <laughs> coop. And back here we made this perch so they can perch up there and then on the nest box and then it's got this kind of food and that water and then with the wire, like I said, you probably don't want the wire for show chickens just because it'll rip up their feathers on the bottom. On the bottom. <laughs> yes. so we're now going to talk about compost and how chickens can be beneficial for your garden. As you might know, you need to clean out your chicken coops um, often. How long would you say? Um, we do it every week. Okay, yeah, once, once a week is probably it's pretty good. Once a week or whenever your chicken coop is beginning to smell bad. And so what you can do is you can take a, a wheelbarrow or something and clean up all that stuff out of your coops and put it in there and then dump it into a compost pile with other natural um, things that can easily decompose. Like vegetable scraps and stuff. Yes. And so this compost pile, um, they, they come and dump it out on here. And then we put water in here so it can water the different layers to help with the compost pr um, process. So that you can, it'll become dirt and you can put it into your garden so your vegetables grow better. Or if you don't have a hose available, you can also get one of these PVC pipes. And we made this one just by drilling holes in the right? But you can also buy them, but they're the same price, like $20. So you can also just dump water down the tube and that just get some too. And then my experience with compost in my garden is the plants actually grow double uh, and produce double more than they would usually grow and produce. So thank you for listening.